Hi, we're still looking at power functions and we're getting a little more complicated. What we have now is two and that's being multiplied by four X, which is to the power of negative seven over five. That itself is, multi is subtracted by six and then that whole side is equal to three. Okay, well, as always, if I want to get to that power, if I want to get to that x, I got to get rid of everything else. So first, I'm going to have to add 6 to both sides, and we're going to have to divide by 2. And in fact, I'm going to do that all in one step, just because we've been doing these kind of problems for a while now. So first things first, I added 6 on both sides to get rid of this minus 6, which would have given me 9. And then I'm dividing both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 in front. So I get 9 over 2, or 4.5. Now, what we're assuming, by the way, in this problem is that x is positive. Remember, if x is negative, we can't take this power. But we're assuming x is positive, and so we're now going to cancel out this power by multi or putting both sides to the inverse, or negative 5 over 7. So this just becomes 4x, and this, well, so when we jump to our trusty calculator, in this case, I'm going to try and evaluate it out. And let's see, we get not the most exciting video, watching me punch things into a calculator. But 4.5 to the power of minus 5 divided by 7. And what I end up getting is 0 0.34. And I'm going to keep a couple extra decimals just for now. Because now we have to divide that by 4 to get our final answer. So we get x equals 0 0.08. And I'm going to stop at three decimals now. A lot of times you'd probably round off to 2, so you'd put 0 0.09, whatever. In our case, we're still able to actually evaluate this problem. Just because there was a negative exponent didn't really change anything. Just make sure that we put a negative into our calculator. So, thank you.